right, welcome to the Fitness After 40 podcast. I'm your host, Josh Proach. And today, what we're gonna, I'm going to talk to you guys about a little bit is uh, waking up your backside and talking about your glute muscles or, or your butt muscles and why that's important and everything. So, um, you know, this is something I think that has gotten more popular in the past few years and, and things like that. But uh, a lot of people, they have very, very weak glutes and we are basically a society of sitters. Um, I think I talked about that a little bit uh, last week when we talked about moving it, uh, move it or lose it um, in that episode. But we, we just sit all day and what happens when we're in a seated position, we get poor posture and when, when we have bad posture, it'll lead to back and neck pain. It results in weak upper back muscles, weak glutes, tight hamstrings and, and things like that. And how this happens is our, when we sit or have weak glutes, um, our pelvis starts to get uh, tucked under or rolled under a little bit. And what that does is it places a lot of stress in the L4, L5, S1 area, um, basically that SI joint, if you've ever heard of that. And that's where we see see a lot of lot of back pain and stuff. And a lot of times it's re- related to, to weak glutes, inactive glutes, which is called um, glute amnesia. Some people will tell us they have like a flat butt um, and things like that. But anytime that you see that, that's a, that's telling us that those muscles aren't engaged, they're not activated, and they're not doing their job. And their job, if you think of them, they're basically like the foundation for your um, upper body and, and your spine and everything. So if you think about like your house, it sits on the solid foundation and then you have your walls and everything. Well, that's what the walls are basically what your spine is. So if that foundation is weak and faulty, your walls aren't going to hold up very well and there's going to be a lot more stress placed on them and and things like that. So we get these glutes stronger, they will support the spine, they take the pressure off that uh, low back area, that SI joint area, um, and and that keeps the back healthier. People that are experiencing pain, it helps um, get them out of pain. Also, too, when, when the glutes are weak and, and not functioning properly, the hamstrings get tight. So the hamstrings almost pull down um, and tighten up to create some stability there. But by them pulling down, what it's doing is when we do like a, a deadlift motion or a squat motion, we get higher stress placed in that low back area. So, again, getting the glutes built up there is going to, to help. Um, aside from just like the the back health thing there with with our glutes the muscles on our whole back side of our body so this is from our upper back our shoulders um traps down in through through the back into the glutes and the hamstrings these uh backside muscles they're the muscles of youth and performance and basically the stronger these muscles are the younger our bodies will um, will be uh, physically and the, the quicker we can move the healthier we are um, the more athletic we are all those sorts of things but a lot of times we'll um, neglect these muscles because they're things that you can't see in the mirror especially for guys they'll focus more on like their buys and chest and triceps and you know all the stuff they can kind of see flexing in the mirror and everything like that but then never do anything for their backside so, but we really try to hit those, especially in, in here in the gym with our clients, because we know this is going to make their posture better. It's going to pull their shoulders back. It's going to have them standing up taller and, and everything there. Um, so we hit these in every workout. Um, but uh, sometimes, you know, there's some, some major things going on that we need to do even more, maybe some homework stuff with people, um, maybe like mini band walks, glute bridges, just really get them turned on and contracting. Um, we've even seen with some people where they don't have the ability to like clench their butt and clench them individually. So like right cheek, left cheek, kind of back and forth. They just kind of can maybe do both together, but they can't, you know, release one and unrelease the other. And, and that's all rela- relates to kind of that glute amnesia or lack of glute control there um, and stuff. So... Um, these muscles too, on, on the backside through, through our glutes, through our upper back, they're going to carry over into our like activities too. So 
just being able to pick something up off the floor and, and, and or like a pick a kid up or things like that, you need these muscles to be strong. But also, if you're on the golf course, they're going to help you hit a ball further. When you're skiing, they're going to help you um, so with your skiing, getting down the hill, everything like that. Pretty much every activity the that you that you do basically, the better and stronger these muscles are, the better your uh, your health is going to be, the better your performance is going to be, and everything like that. So, some exercises here just to kind of think about that um, you can incorporate into your workouts to target these are um, rows for the upper body, deadlifts, any type of glute bridge, squats. Even get into this. Um, they do hit a little bit on the front side of the legs too, but they're back into the glutes as well too. Pull-ups, chin-ups, kettlebell swings, all that sort of stuff. They create a, a strong uh, backside, which will create a strong body there for you. So if you guys are working out with us, we're hitting these. We put this stuff in your program um, already. If you're not working out with us, um, those are just some examples that you can incorporate in there. So um, that's, our, that's our tip for today. Don't neglect those muscles back there. Keep your body healthy. Your low back will thank you for, uh, for spending some time and getting your getting your backside muscles stronger there. So hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys here next week. Thank you for listening to this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe to our podcast on Apple Podcasts and rate and review us.